Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2, back on our race to the north map, where uh, we, we're, where we picked off last time to be honest with you, uh, we're picking up where we left off last time, we're uh, coming down into Berwick upon Tweed where this uh, this cross country service we overtook is actually catching up with the uh, with the, the freight train there, so that's coming down, uh, it's just pootling along at a nice little 60 miles an hour, taking some planks from Berwick over to, uh, no, from, from Berwick to Berwick. Here, there we go. I am acutely aware, however. Oh no, it can. There we go. It can carry tools. Because I'm going to say it has to carry tools back again. So uh, that might have been a bit of a problem if I'd have, uh, if I'd have got some wagons that didn't carry tools. That is one thing I really need to bear in mind for uh, for future changes, isn't it? Look at him go. How much have we got on? We're, we're in here. Not actually that much. I thought we'd have more. But uh, but there we go. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is all good. He can carry an awful lot of tools. 122 going back, so actually quite a few. I wonder what the tools are going to look like on the back. That'll be interesting, because obviously these are a flatbed wagon. Ish. Love the little bits of uh, little bits of mesh at the side. It's a nice touch, isn't it? All right, there we go. So you're making money. Excellent. Oh, it doesn't go. Do -do 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 -do. Trains off now. Oh, the tools are in boxes. That that's pretty cool, isn't it? Really. And obviously that's been taken back. So obviously. By transporting more wood, aha, uh, and machines as well, apparently. Uh, does Beric need machines? Yes, it does, right? Okay, that is an interesting one. So what I might do, because I don't think we're actually meant to bring machines here, are we? Wow, Edinburgh tools 565. That is quite a lot of tools for Edinburgh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new wagon on there, a new set of wagons. There we go. You can carry 17 as opposed to what? Seven. There we go. So we'll, we'll change them first of all. Edinburgh Tools, there we go. Oh, train's whizzing past there, the uh, the Edinburgh Glasgow service. What's that? The Edinburgh Glasgow as well. Quite a few on both of those. It's, uh, it's good. I enjoy that. Uh, right, so this is obviously from the tools that have come down from here that needs going to Edinburgh. Edinburgh's expanding. Oh my lord! When did this happen? <laughs> that is absolutely insane. What I might do. Yeah, we've been spending an awful lot of time in the south, haven't we? I might put a bus route between Edinburgh and Glasgow, like, through here. Or Edinburgh and Stirling. That might be a good idea. Do we have a bus station in Stirling? Yes, we do. Wow, Stirling to Kakodi, there's a lot of buses. Right, okay, we need to... Do you know, I think we just need... Right, we've unlocked a Bristol VR, that's cool. 23, East Yorkshire. i tell you what, we'll go for white... Look at that, it's starting to... Uh, hang on, what's this? Glasgow to Stirling. That goes up there. I don't think we need to change you yet, do we? What's this? Glasgow to Stirling. Oh, that's this one. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll replace this as well. Same one, yeah, with the white. Excellent. We probably don't need 20 of the things, although, to be fair, actually, looking, maybe we do. What's, what's going on here, then, with uh, the tram Glasgow 1? That does need a few on there, so what we'll do is we'll replace that with the Mirage. With a higher capacity on it, of course. Where is it? Do we do we have one? Right, there's one there. Don't actually know. It's probably not helping this sort of queue that we've got going on. So what we'll do is uh, this is very much gonna be an improvements episode rather than building something grand. Just so we're all aware, right? Bus lane, yes. So we're gonna we're gonna get these trams moving about quicker, aren't we? There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bus lane and the tram track off there, and expand that into a four lane bridge. That's got it already on it, hasn't it? Yeah, we do sort of need a bit more. I'm going to go with keep on there. So we're going to keep that there and just expand that into four lanes. There we go. Right, it's good that it keeps the buildings as well. I'm, I'm pleased with that. So there we go. We can have four lanes because the traffic is a little bit smarter since we've subscribed to this beta. It is smarter, so it does behave itself a little bit more. You know, things like changing lanes as well. Wow, funky. Um, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, we've got a bit of uh, bit of traffic here. Glasgow planks, wow, quite a few on there as well. So, we're going to go for another truck. 
There we go. You can carry an infinite amount more now. Well, not an infinite. Everything's finite, isn't it? But, uh, but you know what I mean. Right, how many do we actually have on your route? Manage vehicle, 10. How far do you go? Okay, fairly, fairly far. I reckon that that'll settle down in a little bit, but... So we'll leave that as it is for now. Uh, same again, queues between the two cities. This is a problem. So we're going to go for a bit of four lane. Because, I mean, it's necessary, isn't it? You know that I'm not a lover of the four lane roads on this. Having said that, since traffic's behaving itself a lot more, I can, you know, I can agree with it now. Right, there we go. Keep that there. So maybe we're going to see a lot more four-lane roads on uh, on my series in future. That would be quite exciting, wouldn't it? Right, so there we go. Keep these. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see some traffic actually moving there. That's good. It's good stuff. I could put a bus lane in, but I don't think that's a good idea. Like, well, it is a good idea. A bus lane's always a good idea, isn't it? But, um, oh, hang on. So we need, need a bit of four-lane carrying on into, uh, into Kokodi here. Right, here we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll bob that there. All the way through until the traffic stops. There we go. I tell you what, we'll, we'll just bring it to there. We may as well. Slightly wider road. That's fine. Oh, these are just stopped in the middle of the road. Have, they, uh, have you not got the brief yet? You, you need to be in this lane. It's, I have just put it in there, haven't I? So uh, we'll let them off for now. Wow, look at that steam train doing well there. Buses actually between the two towns, not carrying anybody. I, I thought they would have been. Evidently not. Excellent. It's always nice when you see your buses aren't making money. Never mind. Right, so now that that's under control, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep looking. Oh, tram London anti-clockwise. Let's have a look what's going on down in London. Good heavens. Right, okay. Right, we're going to replace this. Hopefully it's going to keep the same colour. Replace it with the Mirage. Oh, it does! Wow. Same again, the Mirage. That's excellent. So these are uh, these are just looking fantastic, aren't they? I do love how these look like... The, it's the same windows as Pacers, pretty much, isn't it? I, I love it. They look like 142s from the side. Um, right, same again. A little, uh, little bit more roadage in London, I think. I think we'll go for a bus lane as well, because, I mean, look, the trams are piling up here. It's not good. There we go. Right, we're going to bus lane this. Because people are already sort of... There we go. We want the trams to be quick and efficient. And at this moment in time, they are neither. Got any more roads in London that need doing? See, these are all in this lane. Whereas if I put that in, they're all going to move over, aren't they? They can shift. See, this is another one. Right, we'll keep this. Keep it four lanes. There we go. We do also, we could do with like a ring road, couldn't we, around London? Because ring roads are apparently now a thing where they will take the, uh, the cars will take the journey, which requires the least amount of intersections. So, oh for God's sake, look at this. This is just ridiculous. Even with this new traffic system, this is not working. Right, hang on. What's this? Tram Sheffield anti-clockwise. Right, we need to replace this. Wow. What's waiting there? Sheffield clockwise, right, okay. Have some new ones of you. Sheffield anti-clockwise, new ones of you as well, please. Now, again, this is a bit much going off here, isn't it? So what we'll do, get a new road. How far does this need to go? So we'll actually, just from here, we'll just fall in it all the way through. That should hopefully help. Right, okay, so we've got that replaced now. Uh, right, ooh, train Glasgow to Edinburgh. That is an interesting one. Is it Glasgow to Edinburgh? No, it's Glasgow Dundee. Right, these are actually making money, which is good. Uh, so we're in 1968, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a diesel locomotive. Uh, what are we going to use? So, hmm, I mean, it's only a little, little sort of train, isn't it, to be honest with you? We could probably get away with the class. Okay. I mean, that'd be fine. Passenger. So what can we have? We'll need a 1960s uh, rake now. There we go, 1960s. Um, 
Right, okay. How many can each train carry? 110? What about that? There we go, that can carry 111. Right, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. There we go, right. Do we like this? Is this... Look at it go, it's lovely. It's beautiful, is that? New power. Diesel power for Scotland, look at that. Right, the leads to York bus, this is going to be a disaster, surely. Um, right, yeah, there's a lot waiting for that, isn't there? So what we'll do is we will, uh, we will do the same. Get the buses moving, right? We'll, uh, I think we'll go with the East Yorkshire livery for them. We'll treat ourselves. Um, to be fair, okay, it does get quite busy into York. So what we'll do, we'll do the same again with the bus lane. However, oh my God, where's the money gone? Yeah, we've just spent an absolute fortune on some diesel trains, haven't we? So uh, that is where the money has gone, Joe. That's going to cost a bit. What do you mean construction not possible? I'll give you construction not possible in a minute. Right, there we go. Of course it's possible. Have we got a signal right before there? No, right, okay. There we go. Construction is possible. It's this junction, isn't it? Right, get rid. There we go. Right, that might actually be because of those signals. So what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll move the signals. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to colour like this. There we go. One way. I'm not going to do anything of the sort because uh, we don't have any money. <laughs> it was a good idea in theory, wasn't it? Uh, we'll go with four aspect. How's that? I mean, it's never going to get up to speed, is it? Between uh, not enough speed for four aspect, but it's fine. Go with a bit of a uh, bit of colour light. Look at that. We're just going to bus lane all the way down here so that the buses can just whiz down without care in the world. That's that's what we're doing. Right, there we go. Keep going, keep going. And then it'll turn left into the bus station. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Whizzing along. I do like the Bristol VRs. A good looking bus, isn't it? Very small cabs. Very small cabs on uh, on Bristol VRs. Unusually small. Right, there we go. So that's good. Right, which way are you actually going to York here? Because uh, this is... Oh, it goes to York Railway Station, doesn't it? So what we'll do is we'll... Uh... Right, construction's not possible, but it is. There we go. Right, we'll have that. Do we have many buses around York? We do actually, right, okay. Bus York 1. Tell you what, we'll do exactly the same with that. Bit of East Yorkshire. Keeps them moving, doesn't it? Uh, do we have a lot of traffic around here, to be honest with you? No, we don't, so that's fine. Just gets more people moving, the city can expand more. York is getting insane. Problem we've got with York is the station has very much sort of limited its expansion, so we could do with the uh, sort of having it expand down here. What I might do. It's just right. Keep the... Yeah, there we go. Through the farmer's field. There we go. So that buildings can just be built. There we go. Right, up here. Does limit the expansion size of the station, doesn't it? But it's fine. What I might do as well is just... No, bung a level crossing in there. Oh, wow! It's the doodars. They're off. We'll leave them on. There we go. The problem with that is that you can hear the sound all the way out here. So, yeah, we might might just turn them off. Because I seem to remember on the East Yorkshire series... Whoops. But it got quite annoying. <laughs> right, what are you doing? Oh, you're waiting time. That's fine. Right, what else is very bad? Oh, lots. But we are into 35 years old as the oldest vehicle in the fleet. That's not too bad. Um, right, what are we... Edinburgh Machines won. There we go. Edinburgh Machines 2. There we go. Okay, got that down to... Uh, oh, hang on. Right. Oh, no, because that's the condition. Right. Glasgow Lumber. So where are you? You're coming from up here somewhere, aren't you? There we go. Perth Annex. 
Right, that can be a 37 as well. How's that? So, diesel. Uh, right, 47. No, 37, Joe. Come on, 37. But we wanted that one, didn't we? Look, yellow panel. Ooh, saucy. Uh, what are you actually carrying? You're just carrying lumber. So at the moment, it can carry 210. Right, there we go. Should we change that for 225? Is that going to work? Oh, we're nearly at 29 million. So I won't even have to take a loan out. There we go. Here he comes, Glasgow Lumber. He's away. Oh, and it's got the yellow panel on the front as well. Oh, that's got the lumber on. Hmm. They do seem to be running in multiple there, which is a bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do... We, should we put a timetable on this? Line, uh, train, Glasgow, lumber. Oops, where are we? I've lost it. Train, Glasgow, lumber. There we go. Frequency. So if we go with unbunch at Perth Annex, six minutes. There we go. Unbunch time. Upper Glasgow, we won't unbunch there. That's fine. But you can just, you know, sit here and wait for this. That's good. Wait for that to happen. What have we got going on here? We've got a lot of passengers. Bus Perth to Stirling. Right, we're going to go for some bigger buses. You know the drill. What is this? This could be why we're struggling. Right, okay. What are you doing? So one bus has entirely it's brought this entire road network to a stand. Are you uh, are you going or are you just sat there? No, he's going. Lovely. Ah, right. Yes, I see what might be the case here. So what I'll do is we'll bus lane this so that the cars can get round. How's that? There we go. Right. You all go forward, but at the same time. Tell you what, can we make it a six-lane road? I mean, this is... Yeah, six-lane road is quite a lot. Because obviously it stops these having to merge, doesn't it? Right, go on, keep it. Keep the tat. Right, there we go. And the same again. Aha! It is quite a... Uh, right, this will move in time. There we go. So that'll... Uh, will you just zigzag your way across there? Will you enjoy that? Yes, you will! Oh, I love how they change lanes now. So good. Hopefully this is going to mean that this sorts itself out, because this is ridiculous. I mean, I could put a bus lane in. I could put a bus lane in. There's nothing to say I couldn't. But it would be nice if we just sorted the traffic from the off. You know what I mean? Why are you stopping there? See, look, they're separating themselves. That's really, really cool. I like this. This is good. Oh, you're... Uh... See, I don't get why they don't go in this. It's because they all want to go right, isn't it? It's, um... Yeah, nobody actually wants to go into... Uh... Into Stirling itself. Hmm. I do like the fact they come down the outside. It might just be better to put a bus lane in. No, because I feel like then I'll then then they'll have won. Right, tell you what. There we go. We'll six lane it all the way down here. Look at that. Go on. Right. Trucks and buses over that way. Go on. Because then it won't matter. We can you know this can queue. They can queue till the heart's content, can't they, down here? And it just won't bother us. This is sort of city limits. There we go. We'll put that in there as well. I love the uh, the palm trees in Stirling. It really, really does sort of, you know, you, you get a really good impression of the of Stirling. I wonder if there is a single palm tree in Stirling. I'm sure there'll be somebody that can let me know in the comments there. Right. Tell you what, just to get the traffic moving out of here. Oh no, that's a six lane road. I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. But that means you can turn right as well. So that should hopefully fix the traffic situation. 
stay in this lane. You can turn right at the end. How's that? Yeah, there's there's absolutely no need for this bridge at all. Whatsoever, is there? What I'm going to do is I'm going to just... We'll get rid of the bus lane. There we go. Get rid of it. It's fine. For this bit, anyway. That should be fine. I'm so happy that they fixed this, you know. I mean, what are these carrying? Sterling coal. Oh, so this is important. Because, um, oh my lord, look at this. This is ridiculous. 91. How much can you carry? Are you, uh, are you carrying enough there? Okay, they're not actually that full. What have we got on here? Perth to Sterling. Yeah, you see, hopefully this is going to start to sort itself. I'm, uh, I'm feeling that. It is very much a lot of our Scotland... Uh, here we go, Berwick as well. Berwick to Edinburgh. It's quite a lengthy bus journey, this one, isn't it? With a lot waiting. So what we're going to do, again, 220 the maximum there. I'm going to put on some Bristol VRs, seeing as they are the most popular bus. Now 460, so we've actually doubled capacity on the route. Let's make sure that traffic's flowing. Same again. It is. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, it isn't. This is a problem. Excellent. Right. This is a problem. Okay. Oh, it flows all the way down to this junction here. So this is where we're uh, experiencing issues. Right. That's not possible. That's not possible. Why is it not possible? It should be possible. What I might do... Right, that's possible there, so we might have to just bite the bullet. Tell you what we'll do, we'll, we'll put that there, there we go. Two lanes going that way, two lanes going that way. There we go, right, you in the middle there. And then that should be fine there, shouldn't it? Should be. Oh, hang on. Oh, the bus has come down here. That's annoying. I've just sorted the wrong thing. Although, to be fair, it's good that the traffic is flowing there. Uh, where do the buses come? Do they... Oh, they... Oh, they literally do a U-turn there and come back again. So that is... Yeah, that's fine. Because everyone else is queuing in the opposite direction. So yeah, that, that works for me. I'm, uh, I'm hoping that this is going to... So again, that's not going to help, is it, with the going to single carriageway. Um, mm. Problem is, is we've got the goods factory here. Is that producing anything? No, it's getting a hell of a lot of steel. It needs some plastic. So I think in the next episode, we might have to focus on that. Um, right, 50 odd million, that's fine. Right, bus York 2. Very, very busy bus there, so again, we'll replace that with East Yorkshire. VRs. Lovely. Bus Perth to Dundee, so flying back up to Scotland. Uh, right, again, a lot waiting there. So how many buses have we got on here? Ten. We'll have the, uh, the white VRT there. Now, we'll do our, uh, our Scotland road check, because it always seems to be Scotland. Uh, roads are looking good here. Oh, okay. Roads are looking excellent. Uh, that's fine. Right, we don't need to worry about that then, so that's all good. What's this? Kakodi to Perth. We do like a bus route round here, don't we? Again, ten vehicles, not coping. Replace with the VR. That's good. Right, truck Edinburgh, age 43 years. Oh dear. Right, what is it? Edinburgh Goods Factory. That's good. Doesn't have that many on, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll just increase that to them. Truck Edinburgh Tools 2. Quite a few waiting there, so again, manage vehicles. Increase the capacity. Sterling coal. Again, that does have a lot of coal waiting. So, we will replace 128 vehicles. Oh my god. That's quite an expensive. So, we can actually fit 2,000 and... Yeah, we, that's that's a lot. 
Tell you what, we're just going to bung some uh, some what's-its on here. We're going to do nothing of the sort by the look of things. 128 vehicles. When did I do that? So these are all going to start coming thick and fast now, aren't they? Because, let's face it, the, yeah, the, the, <laughs> I've sorted the traffic-ish. So they don't actually have to queue that long. They can go whizzing down the bus lanes. And there's no issue. Where do they actually go? Do they go oh, they go all the way through here. Wow, that is, uh, the coal is coming thick and fast. Steel production through the roof. Scotland Hub Steel, so we're going to, uh, again, make that a thing. Because we need these to start taking. Quick, quick, quick. Scotland Hub Steel, take. More, more, more. Go, go, go. It's a worry, isn't it? I do feel that this has been very poorly designed looking at it now. I feel like we could do it a lot better. Uh, particularly the fact that this could just go straight down here and would cut out. Right, should we do that? We'll cut out the need to go into uh, into this place, Perth, at all. I think that would be quite a, a useful thing. Would be even more useful if we weren't 11 million in the hole. Makes me feel better about my own set of credit cards. I'm uh, 11 million in the hole on this. Oh, you see, that's good. An electric loco that can do 125 miles an hour. But we can't use that, obviously, because we're, we're British-themed. Here we go. We'll build a bypass road. Lovely. Right, there we go. So that should be fine, shouldn't it? There we go. Lovely. Right, let's just wait for the money to come in. It will be here soon, everybody. Don't panic. That's good. So that that can just whiz over. And then it can whiz up there and avoid the whole of the city. Which is then going to, in turn, people will be happier. There we go. Yeah, people are going to be much happier. Because they don't have trucks coming through their, uh, through their neighbourhoods. Right. Okay, so Sterling Coal, we don't need 128 vehicles, do we? That's insane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, hang on. Right, I didn't mean to do that. Try again. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Right, we'll sell 28 of them. I wonder what the, uh, what is it? Is it sterling coal? No. What is it? Yeah, truck sterling. Oh, because I'm looking under the bus, that's why you donut. Sterling coal. Right, the rate is 503. You're producing. Oh, okay, so the rate is actually not that much more. So what I'm going to do, we'll, we'll get rid of another. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We'll get rid of 20 of them. That's going to bring that rate down, isn't it? 395. There we go. See how you get on there. Obviously, this is going to speed things up a lot. Traffic's gone. Excellent. It's, uh, I mean, it's not gone. It's still there, but it's working its way down. So that's good. That's really good, actually. Right, Nottingham. Very bad. Everything's very bad. To be fair, I'm not really coping that much, am I? Right, Tram Nottingham. Right, it's Bus Nottingham 2 that needs the extra, uh, needs the extra doodars. Right, we're going to have more vehicles. There we go. Now, Tram Nottingham needs replacing. Excellent. Not that many using it, either. That's a bit disappointing. Right, we'll replace it with the Mirage, because I do like the Mirage, even though there's Tatras on offer. Sterling Iron Ore. Right, you're actually coping quite well, aren't you, to be honest with you? How many vehicles have we got? 65. We'll replace them with the same trucks. And I think we can probably get rid of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get rid of 25 of them. Should be fine. The rate on there is still 850. That is a lot. Right, well. 
that, my friends, is where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And if, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future episodes. Apart from that, uh, it has been an absolute blast, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.